Hello, good morning and welcome to my channel. I will be reviewing the Evan Moore Smart Start Beginning Coding Stories and Activities for Pre-K. I'm going to walk through the book with you guys and I'm going to let you guys know how, how I plan to use it with my three-year-old. Um, he isn't advanced or anything, but this is a nice, for me, this is a nice introduction to coding. Um, as a person who is not into the coding world, I feel this is this is easy enough for me to implement and it's fun for him that he won't even know that he's doing any schoolwork really. Um and again, you don't have to. There's it's up to you if you choose to do coding with your child. Okay, let's begin. The current standards. I personally am not worried about the current standards. He's 3. We're going to we're just going to go through this book the way he feels like going through the book. Um they're focusing on three main um, concept, critical thinking, computation, computational thinking, and basic skills. There are two pretty cool features here. There's some stickers at the end. Every kid loves stickers and some audios for the stories read aloud. I am not going to use the audios because this is going to be one-on-one -on -one and, you know, I want to work with him. Okay. And I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible because, you know, life and time. Okay. We open it up. There's two QR codes. These are for users in China, users for US. You download it on your on your phone and you listen to the stories. You listen to the tracks according to the stories on here. Here's the cover page, table of contents. You can pause it and read it later on if you choose to. A nice introduction page for the students, but uh, right, but you can read it along just to get an idea what the books are, what the book is about. Here is the vocabulary pages that you might want to naturally add into the into the conversation while you're working with your kids. You can read it to get a better understanding what each word means. Okay, every ever more book has a how to use this book. Okay. Okay. This book is broken up into six sections, and each section is color coordinated, right? Okay, so if you want to work into a specific, if you want to work in a specific concept, you go into the uh, to the color that you want to work in. Okay, here are ag algorithms. Basically, how is something supposed to work, right? And this should be very familiar with your child brushing his teeth in the morning. So you go in through the steps, you discuss. Then there's visual aids. He can look at the photos, and you can kind of help him. He'll let you know what should go first, second, next, and last. And then if you want to throw in some art, it's up to you, you can draw himself brushing his teeth, right? Simple enough. The next activity is the composition, where you take a, you have one big task and you break it up into smaller tasks to complete the project, right? And here's an example when we want to clean our rooms, what should we do, right? We put away the clothes and toys, we make our beds, and we sweep the floors. Again, here's a visual aid. So depending on your child, you can read the story or you can go over through the, with the images. You can break this up into, day, into two days. It's up to you. Okay, Here is an here's an example of another decomposition, right? Simple trains and shapes. This is the one I know my son is really gonna is really gonna enjoy it. So you can make weird, you can discuss shapes, how many each shape was used, but I know him and he's gonna wanna build. So we're plan to use blocks. Right? So we're gonna build our castle, our towers, how many rectangles did we use, how many there's this bridges that we use. How many cubes? Oh, if you want to be really fancy, how many rectangular prisms are there? Right? A triangle. Another triangle. And there we did. We built. Right? Make it interactive with the kid. Or you can, if, if you don't have blocks, you can use construction paper. Laminate them so they can reuse it over and over again. Up to you. And then here's sequencing. Hello, we do sequencing all the time. You do it too. You read your stories. You ask me, hey, what came first? What came next? What came last? 
And this is a simple example, feeding hens. Okay, here goes patterns. Debugging. Basically debugging is, hey, um, we were supposed to do something, something went wrong, what went wrong, let's review our steps and correct them. That's all, debugging. But I think they want us to kind of get our kids used to using the coding vocabulary so they can once they get into coding, they kind of already know what was expected. They, they've heard the, the words before. Okay, and then here's a looping. Basically repetition, right? What do we do? How many times? And so on. Okay, and that's the end of it. So, the f and so that's the end of it. So here's reviewing, decomposition, algorithm, sequencing, making a pattern, debugging and loops so we're just nice simple pictures nice simple instructions so i don't think you will feel overwhelmed when going when using this book with your child and then there are some hands-on projects right so this one for example is our morning schedule most homeschoolers Somehow something, they, they post something on their walls to let them know, let the kids know what they should do in the morning. Waking up, making their bed, brush, uh, washing their face, showering, brushing their teeth, put away pajamas, whatever it is that you do in your home. So here they just have the prints out for us. So we can cut out, there's about six different activities. We cut it out. You can laminate them if you want, if you're going to reuse them. And he'll place them in the order that best suits your home or what best makes sense in your home. Um, next, there's a couple of, just another example of a hands-on activity. Cut it up and it's a puzzle, right? And we do puzzles anyway with our kids, right? And then this is a cute, this is going to be fun. And I think my oldest ones would, would join just because. So you can cut these pieces out, laminate them, and reuse them. So basically, they, they start, give you some directions, go up, go right, action, go right, action. Go down, a loop, right? You're going to do the same action whatever times, and then you stop. That's pretty fun. You'll like it. And it and we can we can use that as a mental break in the mornings, right? To kind of like get the kids back into um, working with you. It's a cute little certificate, very colorful, cute. And at the end, there's a little coding handbook, which is just vocabulary words with images to, so they'll remember. Some answer keys. I'm not sure if you'll need the answer key. Then there's some stickers at the end. Right? Um, at this time, the book is about $11. I think that's pretty reasonable for my family since I will be stretching this out for the next two years and I'll be stretching out the activities as long as possible because he is only three, year, three years old and there's no way he's going to do this on his own. Um, I might even have my older kids help him so they can you know, work on their team building and work on communicating between all three of them. Um, I hope this walkthrough was very helpful. If you have any questions, please write it at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye.